Sup guys, Element Face here with another update video. I'm pretty much running out of space where I built my original house, so I'm doing like a spread and conquer technique. So let's see what I've built so far. No changes until we get back to the house. Ah. Alright, my three questions are again, how can I make this house or my videos better. Um, my real life question is uh, have you ever forgotten an important date dealing with like a mother or a brother or a boyfriend or girlfriend and how did that turn out for you? And uh, my Minecraft question is would you guys like it if I posted my save files for you guys to download? Okay. I was supposed to have band practice today, but I for and I forgot that today was my two year anniversary with my girlfriend. I don't know how it would have turned out, but I don't want to see it, so I'm a little scary. Alright, so here's the finished lava dome. I put a lava floor in along with the ceiling. Here's what it looks like on the outside. Okay. Another update is that I am making a tree house. And so that is my my current little state of it right now. Okay, so uh, let's go inside to my rustic cabin. A couple of videos ago I showed you my library. Well I finished finally. Finding all those reeds was a real pain in the ass. I ended up growing most of them myself. But I like it. It looks cool. It makes me look scholarly. Which is ironic because I really hate reading. Upstairs. In this update, I've made extensive use of the nether. You're probably going to see more updates involving the nether from here on out because I've pretty much run out of space at home base. So I'm just going to like make whatever I make next, I'm going to make it at random spots that I teleport to using the nether. Okay, I'm going to my cacti and reed farm. This was a request by minecraftforum.net user named Soul. He pretty much requested that I make one, so that's what I did. Here are my cacti. Now some pointers for people if you're trying to grow these. They have to be on sand, and you want them at least two squares apart, because when you break them down, if, if they touch other cacti, it anything that touches the cacti just is destroyed, like so. So, uh, yeah. And then over here is my reed farm. Now the way reeds have to work is it's kind of like crops. They have to be near water, but they don't have to be on tilled or watered soil. They can be on any kind of soil as long as it's next to water. And then when they grow, you want to shave off the the next one up. That way you can just go along. Because if you want to plant more, you're just going to end up planting a bottom one again. So work smarter, not harder. Back into the middle. And since the nether literally terrifies the piss out of me, if I'm not on peaceful, I've made a tunnel system so I don't ever have to deal with going outside and dealing with, like, the pigmen or the gas. The gas are the most terrifying thing in the world. I've played a couple scary video... Okay, where the hell am I? Okay. I've played a couple scary video games in my day, but, but the nether takes the cake. Seriously, it's unbelievably scary for me. Okay, off to my roller coaster. This is pretty much just a fun thing. Nothing really. Well, I guess it is pretty functional. Okay. 
We go for the initial drop. No! I wish you could make loops. It'd be cool if I could do like a loop. Okay, so that was track A. Please flip your switch to see the second part of the roller coaster. I don't know if any of you guys have ever had to deal with cassette tapes. Sometimes when they were made, they would make it so that the song wasn't done. You'd actually be halfway through a song and then have to flip the cassette over. And that really sucked if it was like a rock out song. Because then you're rocking out and then all of a sudden, if you wish to continue, please switch to side B. It's like, ah, that's anticlimactic so badly. Okay, so that was my roller coaster. I put a switch in because I wanted two different tracks. Because when I originally built it, I only had one track and I had like an unused side. And again, that kind of irked my OCD, so... I said, screw it. I'm just going to make it so that you can go one way or the other. Back down, I got one more thing to show you. And then we will be done. Ah, wall. I wouldn't have a problem posting my save files for you guys. What I'm worried about is that when I post it, people are going to start messing with it and then posting their own versions, and then I'm not going to get any credit whatsoever. And I'm kind of a, a credit nut. I think if anybody's ever touched a save file or a song or a piece of artwork in any way, they should get credit. Okay, so here's my mob trap. I was trying to find an animal to kill with it. But, uh, I wonder if I have anything down here. Probably not. Nope, nothing down here. But, it, I've gotten some stuff. I've gotten quite a bit of pork. Alright, guys, so, um, I appreciate it if you answer my questions below. Uh, I'm probably gonna end up posting my save files and I know it's going to find its way around, I'm not going to get credit for it, but whatever, it's just a Minecraft save. But uh, if you guys could be courteous and leave my name on it somewhere whenever you repost it, that'd be greatly appreciated. Okay, so uh, if you guys have any suggestions for me to build, you can either post it here on YouTube, or you can go to minecraftform.net, and in the mapping and modding section, you can uh, find a post called You Tell Element Face What to Build. And that's my own little thread where people are telling me what to build. So uh, I'll work my way down the list and try to get to you and, you know, do whatever you want. Alright, later.